Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Mal from Descendants 3. So let's get started. To draw Mal, we're going to first start by drawing her hair. So I'm going to come right here. This is going to be my center point. And I'm going to go slightly up and down. So same thing over here. So now that we have that in, let's bring this down. So we're just drawing the hair. It's on the side of her face. And then let's just kind of flare it out a little bit. So now that we have this basic shape in, let's come about right here. Just kind of gauge an oval in this area. So let's say about right here, I'll start. So I'm just going to make sure it's the same point on the other side about right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect a curve for her face. So this part is going to come down to so about right here. Bring this out more. And I'm going to go ahead and connect a curve. Oops. And go up. So I have a curve in for her face. Now that we have that in, let's come back to where we started. So about in this area right here, we're going to draw a circle. So right next to her hair. Let's draw a big circle. So same thing on the other side. Right at the edge. So then let's make them draw stick your eyes. I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom. And shade in the top. And the lines at the bottom. Same thing over here. There, now we have our eyes in. So let's come over here towards the edge and let's give her some lashes. Just pop out maybe two. So same thing over here. And then let's come above her eyes. So say about right here, we're going to give her her brow. So just a slight arc up and down. You can go ahead and thicken it. So same thing over here. So about right there, slight arc and down. And then let's come and draw her mouth. So right in between the eyes, so about right here. Smirk's mouth. There. Okay, so then now we can go ahead and finish the top of her hair. So from this center point, let's just go up a little bit. And you can come in here and just draw another curve to give her hair some dimension. And then let's bring about, about right here. Not too full. We're just going to go up on both sides. And from there, let's bring this down. And we're just going to come towards following this curve right here. The same thing on this side. So then about right here, you can start to curve if you like. But before we finish all of that, we have to draw her um, body first. So let's come to the center right here and we're going to give her a little neck. So about right here. Draw her neck. And then it's a little bit complicated over here because she has all these <laughs> things coming out. So let's start with an angle right here first. So. I'm going to come out here and pop out this collar 
that kind of flaps out, right? So let's come about right here and I'm gonna draw a flap. And it's gonna come right back to about right there. And then we can continue this side. So let's come down for her shoulder. And let's go ahead and connect this part. And then she has this kind of like a little turtleneck thing going, right? So give it a little two curves. And then let's see here. Now let's just come down here about where her armpits would be. So about right here on both sides. And we're going to bring angle line down just so we can see a little bit better. So about right there. Okay, so then from there, let's, let's see here. Let's come down to this side. Let's come about right here. So we're going to stop about right there where the angle would be and in this area. Let's pop out a little wing. We can go ahead and connect this part right there. And then in this area, let's connect a little wing. So curve, curve, curve. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So it'll be about right here. Pop out a little wing. And then let's come out and draw her um, shoulder. So it's continuing. So then about right here, pop out for her sleeve. And go ahead and connect it. There. Hope I didn't make that too complicated. Okay, so then from there, let's draw some details. So I'm gonna go ahead and about right here, I'll cut it off. So we have a curve and connect it. And another curve right here. I'm gonna add a little button right there for some details. And then let's come in here and finish this part off. So it's going to come down and let's draw a little zipper and then angle line down and add some details to make it look like a zipper. And let's see here. Okay, now let's finish this part first before we draw the arms. So let's come down right here for her hip and waist area. And we're just going to bring this down. So let's draw some details. We're going to come right here and draw a curve across. And then let's come right here. We're going to draw this little belt thing that she has. So I'm only trying to draw the necessary details because it gets pretty complicated, right? And we're just going to add maybe two curves that go across. And then let's bring this down more. And add another curve. And then in this area, about right here, I'm going to start and add a little angle line right in the center. So then from there, we're going to start to draw her legs. So right here, I'm going to add two curves that come out. And then let's go ahead and draw her legs. So I'm just going to bring this all the way down, getting thinner as we go. About right there, I'll stop. And then right in this area, I'm going to draw a curve to cap it off. And then let's draw her shoes. So I'm going to give it a little cuff right here. So I'm going to work on this one first. And a curve. And then her shoes, her boots. Curve it out. And connect it with a curve. And at the bottom right here, it's really high. So let's add an angle line. And connect it. So same thing over here.
Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's come back and draw the hands before we put in all the details. So we're going to angle this hand down. And I'm giving her the long glow. So about right there, I'll stop at in this um, glove right here that has this pointy part that comes out. So let's come down. So her hands are going to be in this area. So let's bring this down. And about this area, we're going to start to draw her thumb. And come out, angle, and bring it in. So same thing over here. So once again, we're just bringing a curve down. This is going to come down for her sleeves. Angle, come in. And let's draw this curve first. So about right here. For fingers, and then let's go ahead and connect it. There. Okay, so now for all the little details. Oh, well, let's draw her hair first. <laughs> So, okay, let's finish right here so it doesn't look too weird. So I'm just going to go ahead and curve this down. Her gorgeous purple bluish hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and wave it all the way down, tuck it in. And just tuck it in. I think you see that part, so I'm just going to add a line right there. There. Okay, so then now for the details. Let's start right here and I'm just doing some general details. So I'm just going to go in. I'm not even sure if I have them all right because <laughs> it's so hard to see. It's so dark, but hopefully this will give you an idea. Drawing some of the lines in the glove. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to opposite way. And her pants. So about right here, I'm going to say where her knees are. Draw two curves. And if I'm going too fast, please just pause the video. And I just don't want to take too long with these details. So there's a curve line right here. Same thing over here. And then you can add a curve right here. And another detail is right here. And for the shoes. So let's come right here, give it a curve. Two lines. And let's see here. That is pretty much it, I hope. <laughs> For my version of Mal from the Disney's Descendants 3. Hope you love how it turns out and inspires you to give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. If you loved it, please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.